I, I want to start with obviously you've you've just left Peloton uh, for for Autodesk, so I want to spend a little time being nostalgic with you and kind of looking back on our our time together through all the ups and downs we had um, at Peloton and kind of how that shaped our our leadership styles because um, I think we have some some similarities and some good differences that we can hopefully impart on on this crew uh, today. So what was one of the biggest challenges you faced um, and, and from your recent past with Peloton or otherwise, and, and what did you learn from it that you're kind of now taking with you uh, to Autodesk? Way to start with the uh, the soft answer, CJ. <laughs> well, I think, you know, the biggest challenge, honestly, was the reality of dealing with multiple things all at the same time. And so I kind of came up with this thing that I call sweat the big stuff because there's always gonna be a lot of things. And the fact is, if you're trying to solve everything, you solve nothing. And so what I learned is it's really important to figure out what's the most important thing, what's the thing that matters, what's the thing I should be measuring, and how do I focus on that? And then once I, I accomplish that, then I can move on to the next, on to the next. And I think that requires a lot of discipline and it requires focus, which is something that, when things are easy, I think it's easy to focus when things are hard and things are challenging and you're dealing with a dynamic environment. It's hard to focus because you almost want to throw everything and see what sticks. That's not the recipe. That's not the strategy for success. So learning that I think has made me, it's funny because I remember, you know, when things happen to Peloton, it's not really a secret, right? So I remember getting texts from some of my friends and they were like, diamonds are formed under pressure. And I was like, you know what, this is true. This is true. And so I take with me, you know, a lot of a lot of learning, right? A lot of lessons that I think have helped me become a more resilient leader, a stronger leader, and also a more empathetic leader. Because I think sometimes it's so easy for us to look at other people and be like, oh, you know, I would have done that differently, or I would have done that differently. And when you're in the hot seat for a perpetual period, a persistent period, it gives you humility. It gives you empathy. And there's a saying my mother used to tell me when I was growing up, you know, no matter how high you are, be humble. And no matter how low you are, be hopeful. And I take mm -hmm. that with me.